Hi guys, I'm here today with a Poundland haul. My name's Fawn and this is my channel. It's a happy place and there are lots of happy people that join me here. So if you think you might like that kind of thing, please do give me a thumbs up, click subscribe and leave me a comment. So I hit Poundland. It has to be done. <laughs> and I got all sorts of things. Some of them food and fairly ordinary and some other really nice things. So I'll go through them with you. I picked up some mint matchmakers. These are favourites. I told you, I've got a thing about mint chocolate at Christmas. I almost never eat it any other time, but oh goodness, I love it. And it was only a pound, so I had to have it. I picked up a pair of trousers so much. Well, not trousers so much, jeggedy jeans. Haven't tried them on yet, but I'm hopeful. And they're this lovely sort of foresty green colour. They were only seven pounds. They have pockets on the back that actually work. You know, they look like a jean pocket and then it has fake ones on the front. Nice straight leg. I just thought it would go with so many things and I thought this colour was fabulous. They have them in quite a few colours. I was tempted by the kind of, there's like a rusty terracotta colour and if these fit well, I'll probably be going back for them because seven pounds. I mean, sometimes you can't even get leggings at that price. I got a book for the kids, you know me in the book section. The very snowy Christmas. I mean, it's all Christmas books at the moment, but that's part of the fun, isn't it? Helps to get the kids really in the mood. Again, only a pound, and it was originally six ninety nine. Oops. It's written by Diane Hendry and Jane Chapman, and I really do think it's a really lovely book. Look at the illustrations in here. So we'll have some fun with that. Just a silly stocking filler. It's a frozen hairbrush, again only a pound. It's for my grandson, you know how he feels about frozen, anything frozen, he's there, he wants it. So we kind of indulge it at the moment, he is only three. So stocking filler. Again a stocking filler for one of my girls. I got a bourgeois eyes in brown, can you see that? Really nice. And a bourgeois eyeshadow, liquid eyeshadow, again in a brown shade. I thought they'd go really well together and give a pretty Christmas look. And again, a pound each. So, I mean, we all know bourgeois is quite nice stuff. Got some socks for my son-in-law, some of these working men's socks, four pairs. And it was four pairs for four pounds, which is good for these really thick. I mean, these happen to be Pep and Co, but you know, they all look alike. They're just these really thick socks. He still manages to wear through them in no time at all. So it allowed to his supply. Picked up a deodorant for myself. Aloe sensitive Vaseline. I haven't tried this one. I'm going to spray it in the cap a minute. Oh, it smells nice. I mean, I generally use Dove, but this was, I think, 149. Was it 149? Hmm. I think it was. It was some random price. It wasn't a pound, but it was still pretty, pretty cheap. Got my mum some fries chocolate cream. <laughs> I know I've got a box of them for her as well in her stocking, but in the run up to Christmas as well. She can have them in her sweetie drawer and indulge whenever she feels the need. This time of the year, she finds very difficult. She's not allowed out very much because of COVID, but she's also not allowed out very much because, well, frankly, she's getting old and she's her balance is shocking. She has a stick, but when it starts getting icy and slippery and we all come down on her like a ton of bricks if she dares to go out. So I do know that she gets bored out of her mind. To make sure, I had to go and get this one. <laughs> to make sure that she doesn't get too desperately bored, I bought a whole load of wool as well. Um, they're all the same color, I believe, but I got two more of the white with a sparkle, which you just can't see. It doesn't come over on here, but it has got, it's just the most subtle. So for edging of anything that she wanted to do, I got two balls of the white. And then I got two, four, six, three. Yes, and I got seven balls of this. Isn't that just the prettiest colors? She does the loveliest little jumper and um, like a hoodie jumper as well for my granddaughter. So the reason I got seven was I had to have nine in total because they were a pound a ball, but there were three for the price of two. So it had to be nine, either three, six, nine, twelve. You get it? <laughs> so I'm gonna keep her busy. Get the whip out, get on with your knitting woman. But while you're doing it, you can have some chalky. As always, the peanut tracker bars. 
and the Cadbury's peanut brunch bar. You notice the theme, I do have a thing about nuts, I really do. I never go in there without coming out with, with these. I don't know why I bothered to show you, but oh well, I'm gonna keep doing it. Again, for in the stockings, for my daughters this time, three packs of um, nail files. These ones have sort of cactus on them. These ones have llamas on them. I just thought they're a fun little stocking filler and a pound. What girl does it need? Nail files. I picked up for my granddaughter this really cute little pair of sort of tracky bottoms. Unfortunately, they didn't have a top that matched. Now, maybe they did have at one point, but they didn't when I was in there, but I couldn't resist because, where is it? Look, there's Bambi on the leg. Now she has lots of little pink tops and little, so it doesn't really matter that there isn't a matching top, but I just thought they were absolutely super cute. Nice and thick too, and they've got that sort of, you know, warm brushed interior. Interior? <laughs> you know, they're warm and brushed inside. And these were four pounds. And I just think they're so cute. More makeup for the stockings. I got another one of the bourgeois, um, I think it's like an eyeliner, eyeshadowy, crayon-y, sticky pencil. But this time I got the gold like gold liquid eyeshadow one for each child no I'm not saying that right am I <laughs> a set in the stocking of my one daughter and a set in the stocking of my other <laughs> but again bourgeois a pound ago this is for my younger daughter Minnie Mouse can you see her I hope she comes across really well a little black t-shirt it's really nice it's six pounds and it does seem to have been nicely made it's got little turnips on the sleeve I hope you can see I like tops that are black anyway but look at Minnie isn't she cute my younger daughter's into things like that and I suppose when you've got children you do tend to be more into sort of cartoons and looking cutesy for my son-in-law for three pounds I just couldn't get away with this I got him a t-shirt dark gray I have to get extra extra large at the moment in his t-shirts and this one just says American gangster San Diego California it's just a great knocking around in t-shirt I mean it's a great color for a start off for a mechanic not that he wears things like this to work he does have a uniform but his hands are always sort of slightly, and he does a lot of work here as well with the animals, etc. So it's a great colour and it's three pounds. And the way I figured it, if he thought that the design was wrong on the front, he could just wear it as a pajama top. This one was six pounds, again for him, but this one is long sleeved. It's got black sleeves and then a grey body. I always call these baseball shirts. I don't know that they are baseball shirts, but that's what I call them because that's what they look like to me. Um, six pounds, XXL, warm and cozy. And again, it's a great layering piece for a man, isn't it? You throw a thick shirt on the top and he'll be toasty. Picked up some Dove for the kids. Uh, Baby Dove head to toe wash, insensitive. And Baby Dove shampoo, insensitive. Both a pound each. Kids stuff seems to be so expensive. I've been looking everywhere for some nice um, bubble baths and things like that. And if you want them with minimum, minimum, if you want them with minimum additives that's kind for sensitive skin, they can be really expensive. So at a pound ago, the only thing they didn't have was the bath. But I just think you can put some head to toe wash in as bubble bath anyway, can't you? Again, for my younger daughter, wasn't really anything for my eldest, which was a bit disappointing. I got a pale grey. It's a Friends t-shirt. She is Friends obsessed. It started when she was about, I don't know, she was about 14, I think. And she can do whole episodes word for word. It has never gone away. <laughs> so much so that a hubby bought her a Friends advent calendar this year that just has little earrings in it. But I saw this and I thought she would love that. And again, it's just a knocking about t-shirt. It can be a pyjama shirt if she wants it to be. And that was six pounds. And it really is nice quality. Last few things. Again, for my granddaughter. How cute is this? A little Christmas sweatshirt in red. Mickey and Minnie on it. And it says, ooh, Christmas joy. 
Isn't that lovely? Now I believe they've got the trousers as well, so it's like a, a track suit. They didn't have her size, um, but I was told that they do. They only had them in tiny baby sizes. But this was four pounds, and again, she's got black leggings, she's got little pairs of jeans. So, you know, four pounds for a little Christmas sweatshirt. I couldn't resist. Last couple of things. As always. <laughs> I picked up the M&M's with hazelnuts. I just, this, this bar of chocolate, it's two pounds. So it's not cheap, but it is a big bar. Um, and it just is so yummy. M&M's, hazelnuts and chocolate. I mean, Christmas is coming. I'm going to get even fatter. <laughs> and then for my mum's stocking, because I do her a little stocking. I saw this and it was so her. It was six pounds and it's a hot pink jumper high neck long sleeves it's got little gold buttons on the cuff they've got them in lots of colors it just has a i don't know if it'll come across a little seam that runs down the front it's sort of slightly longer length this color is so my mum my mum is blonde and blue eyed and very white skin and she looks fab in these sorts of colors and it's so soft ladies i'm sure it's you know viscose or something um, it has a little split at the sides and the back is ever so slightly longer than the front. I mean, literally ever so slightly, but it's the sort of thing that I can tuck into her stocking. And again, she's going to wear this over and over. I know my mum <laughs> and to get it for six pounds, I think it's marvellous. So there we go. I think that's it. Let me just check. Yep, that's it. <laughs> so that's what I bought at Poundland this time. Now there's still lots of Christmas decorations in there and wrapping paper and cards and things like that, but I don't need it. I bought it all. So I didn't bother buying any more, but there is plenty still there if you want to go there, ladies. I know some shops are really running down now, but it's surprising the quality of some of the things that you get from Poundland. You tend to think it's going to be cheap and cheerful. Some of it's really nice. It's a bit more than cheap and cheerful. And I think the Pep & Co clothing, although it's a very small range, and you have to be lucky to find the size that you want when it's children, I think washes and wears really well. There was nothing for my grandsons this time. It was all a little bit too old for them. It was all fortnight and all of that. And they are three and four, you know? Um, but in the past, I've bought them things with Scooby-Doo on and so on. And they have washed and worn and they are just as good as anything else that I've bought. Sometimes for a lot more money. So, um, do go and explore Panland if you get the chance. Okay, <laughs> bye guys.